And this is a crazy integral. Yeah. So basically, triple integrals and tan inverse xyz. So if you try to proceed uh, in a straightforward manner, evaluating each of them one by one, that will be a pretty tough task. So we will leave the formula over here. Uh, the formula is something like this. If you have triple integrals, all of them going from 0 to 1 of f of x, y, z, dx, dy, dz, then we have an interesting uh, formula for this. That's it's equals to half of a single integral yeah, of f of x, ln square x, dx. So you can basically use this formula and solve it in a pretty easy way. So basically, then it will be half of integral from 0 to 1 of uh, tan inverse x ln square x dx now for this we can first uh, use the series expansion for tan inverse x so that is something like this uh, summation from n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 x to the power 2n minus 1 by 2n minus 1 and then ln square x dx now you can extend the sum and integral that gives us 1 by 2 and if we extend it we will have sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 2n minus 1 and then integral from 0 to 1 of of x to the power 2n minus 1 ln square x dx and now we can use a formula from beta gamma function for this case and so the formula is something like this integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power m ln x to the power n dx for this formula will be uh, minus 1 to the power n n factorial by m plus 1 to the power n plus 1 so the integral will be uh, sum from n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 2n minus 1 over here and that will be minus 1 square and then 2 factorial by 2n uh, to the power 3 dx now that 2 will cancel out and this will just be 1 yeah and we will have uh, 1 by 8 sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 2n minus 1 times n cube dx. Now let's try to use the break the partial fractions in the other um, pairs. Let's use the other pairs for breaking it into partial fractions. Mm, yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a bit of our tedious task. First we can just remove this. Yeah. And we can do the partial fractions. 2n minus 1 times n cube. We'll break it into partial fractions of the form a by n plus b by n square plus c by n cube plus d by 2n minus 1 we can just take the lcm and cross the denominators that will give us 1 equals to a times n square 2n minus 1 b times n 2n minus 1 plus a c times 2n minus 1 plus d times n cube if we substitute n equals to 0 we will have 1 equals to c times minus 1 so c equals to minus 1 substitute n equals to 1 by 2 we will have 1 equals to this will cancel out d times 1 by 8 so that implies d equals to 8 now if we uh, let um, n equals to 1 we will have 1 equals to a plus b plus a plus d yeah and we know the c and d c is minus 1 d is 8 so c plus d will be 7 so that will be a plus b equals to minus 6 a plus b equals to minus 6 
and when n equals to minus 1 we will have 1 equals to minus 1 so there's minus 3 uh, and then minus 1 minus 1 plus 3b minus 1 minus 3c minus 1 minus t and c is minus 1 so this is plus 3 and then d is 8 plus 3 minus 8 is minus 5 other side 6 so minus 3a plus 3b is 6 minus 3a plus 3b is equals to 6 that says minus a plus b equals to 2 now if we add both of these 2b equals to a. 2b equals to minus 4 yeah 2b equals to minus 4 b equals to minus 2 yeah it's going to be equals to minus 4 then b equals to minus 2 and uh, when b is minus 2 minus 2 a equals to minus 4 so just check if these are the answers or not because it's really hard to find them sometimes mm, uh, for a it's minus 4 is it yeah it's minus four fine and for b it's minus two b it's minus two yeah that's also fine c is minus one c is minus one that's fine and d is eight uh, d is eight yeah that's also fine it's going pretty nice so we have these values let me just add it over here and then I will copy it a equals to minus 4 b equals to minus 2 yeah and then let me let me select over here so a equals to basically minus 4 and b equals to basically minus 2 c is basically minus 1 okay so that's a problem over here but that will not be a problem okay we'll open one note and yeah we do have the values draw yeah so minus four minus minus four sorry minus four minus two minus four minus two minus one minus one eight let me just copy it now and I'll let this do over here let's continue over here yeah okay Boy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Listen, you know, let's do it. Okay, now mm, that will be if you just uh, multiply, if you just make the past fractions and then multiply 1 by 8, we will have a minus 1 by 2 sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n yeah and then uh, over here that will be minus 1 by 4 sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n square over here that's minus 1 by 8 sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n cube and then over here it will be plus uh, and that's a yeah uh, okay so this one is minus two minus four minus 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 is there and it so this is plus sum from n equals to one to infinity of minus one minus one uh, to the power to the power the n plus one yeah by two n minus one now let's try to evaluate these sums one by one so basically this one this one is an easy sum so that's just one minus one by two plus one by three minus one by four so we know that this actually equals to ln of one plus one yeah cause x value is over x value is just one over here and we know the formula of ln of 1 plus x 
which is x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x square by 4 so that's just ln of 2 okay so we have minus 1 by 2 ln of 2 yeah and next 1 by 4 for this one this is actually um, if we evaluate that so that will be uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 4 square and so on so this is actually represented as uh, eta of 2 which is similar to zeta of 2 zeta of 2 is something like this 1 plus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square sorry plus 3 plus 1 by 4 square and so on in zeta all of them are added in eta they are alternating signs and you can easily write that uh, eta of any number x is equals to 1 minus or 2 by 2 to the power x of zeta of x yeah so basically we'll use this formula to evaluate eta functions and so this is actually eta of 2 yeah minus 1 by 8 so this is also eta of sorry not zeta eta of 3 and this one is actually uh, 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on so you can see that this is actually tan inverse function and for x we have 1 over here so tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse 1 now this is minus ln 2 by 2 minus 1 by 4 so it it of 2 is 1 it of 2 will be 1 minus 2 by 2 square zeta of 2 is pi square by 6 so this is okay 2 by 2 square so that's 1 by 2 okay so that's pi square by 12 yeah and it of 3 is uh, 1 minus 2 by 2 cube and zeta of 3 is a, a power is constant a value is not known so zeta of 3 times this is 1 minus 1 by 4 so that's 3 by 4 yeah so 1 by 4 times pi square by 6 is, pi square 12 is pi square by 48 yeah minus this is 1 by 8 times a power constant or times 3 by 4 so there's 3 by 32 yeah 3 by 32 a per is constant and this is times 1 that's pi by 4 okay so we had come to the solution but okay. mm, yeah. so now we okay so this one was 3 by 32 a per is constant yeah and then pi by 4 so this is the answer yeah and this is the answer okay I'm sorry for that this is the answer and let's try to check it a uh, minus ln 2 by 2 minus pi square of 48 minus 32 is it of 3 that's a bit constant plus pi by 4 pi by 4 minus ln 2 by 2 minus pi square by 48 minus 3 by 32 a per is constant yeah that's the answer and we solved it basically the main uh, tools we used was this formula yeah and then the formula for tan inverse x the sum formula for tan inverse x and then beta gamma function over here and then partial fractions and uh, some known identities and this formula as well some known zeta by zeta values like pi square by 6 and a per is constant and this formula and some of the other entities so basically we practiced everything <laughs> much other thing from series and calculus i hope you enjoyed this integral and yeah for more likes and subscribe thanks for watching